theme of the day is, drum roll please, balance and body control. So this is the stuff that we work through slowly. Um, I don't expect everyone to be able to do the full range for all the exercises, uh, but that's, just think of it kind of like a game. You go through the levels, you do as much as you can, and you give it your best shot. Intervals are 40 seconds. Uh, and let's go ahead and get going. If everyone could please grab a towel or a yoga strap, piece of rope, something, take 30 seconds, go do that, and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right. It can be a bath towel, it can be a yoga strap if you have one, it can be a piece of rope, a lot of different options. We're going to be using this for a little bit of our warm up and then two of our exercises. So once you have your item, strictly for the purpose of opening up our shoulder joint, um, not for strength, we're going to grab our item, start our cycle, and Start by creating tension in your towel, your strap, whatever you have. And we're pulling the whole time. First 30 seconds, I want you to resist all the way up. Bring your arms straight up and overhead. Pull, 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 pull. And then bring it as far back as you can. And then all the way down. So working through that range starting to wake up the shoulder joint. And as we're doing this, we're keeping our back straight, so we don't want to compensate at all by bending into the back. Get those arms all the way back behind your ears, as far back as you can. Start to bring them back down and through. Awesome. Got about 20 more seconds of this. And pull so much that you can't move quickly through it. Arms up and back. Core stays engaged. Bring them down. And a lot of people I work with, I notice, have difficulty, keep moving, sticking their arms straight up and overhead without bending their elbow. So that's why we're working into the shoulder joint here. And this is a useful uh, piece of mobility to have when you do anything, even like reaching up to grab a dish from a cabinet. Last five, four, three, to reach that strap up and overhead, release some of the tension, and then keeping the arms stick straight, bring them all the way back, and bring them back up to the ceiling. So next 30 seconds, we're working the opposite direction. Bring those arms all the way back, keep pulling, keep that tension all the way up. And you might feel kind of a stretching sensation across the chest. I'm going to come down to my knees so everyone on Zoom can see. That's what you want. Opening up those muscles. Pull, pull, pull. Don't let them bend. Up. And back down. We're half done. Nice. Good. Last 10. Maybe do one or two more. Pull the way up. And five. Four. Three. Two and one. Strap straight up and overhead. Pull it in opposite directions. Pull, yank, tug. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring that strap forward. Take a narrower grip. Pull it apart. Open up the back of the shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. All right, for our forearm work today, we're gonna to be coming down onto hands and knees, tabletop position. Without letting your elbows bend, we're lifting the palms up and off the floor. Now, it's not a big grand move, it's just contracting the forearm muscles enough to lock out the elbows, straight arms, get those fingers up. Up, okay, first 40 seconds. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Spread the fingers wide. Lift, lift. Yes, if this is too much pressure on the wrist, you can always do an upward wrist curl. But really spreading the fingers and not bending the elbows at all, compensating, 
means you get a tiny range of motion here and that's what we're going for up up half done it's so small keep it up i'm going to turn the light up a bit so you guys can see me even better amazing there we go last 10. good give me five four three two and one flip the hands to face the opposite direction spread the fingers wide straighten out the arms let the wrist bend the other way you can rock into it a little bit be gentle baby joint and go ahead and flip the palms opposite direction press the floor away from you next 40 seconds spread the fingers wide lift lift yes and it's really hard not to bend the elbows at all my elbows really want to bend but i'm Firing up those forearms to help lift the fingers off the mat. Allowing no compensation at all. Nice. And after this, we're going to do one of our familiar tricep exercises, but we're going to add some shoulder extension to make it a little bit harder. Last 15 seconds. Up. Up. Press those arms even straighter. I know my forearms are firing the tops of my hands as well. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Oof. All right. Let's go ahead and come on down to the floor for our side lying tricep press. So I'm going to make my way down onto my right side. I wrap my right arm around the body and I press my left hand into the mat. I'm going to go ahead and restart my cycle. So, two part move. My challenge to you is. Press yourself up and don't let that bottom shoulder touch the floor. So we're gonna start by reaching the right arm straight up overhead, as straight as you can get it. Bring it down. Drop yourself down and up. Reach in, down, and up. And each time you wanna get that right arm even straighter, 40 seconds, here we go. Drop down into it. Don't let your shoulder touch reach and down, down, up, reach and down, keep going. And no, that right arm shoulder extension is not for strength because we're bringing the arm up and overhead. It is for the sake of mobility as we're strengthening the left arm. Mm -hmm. Try not to let that bottom shoulder touch. Fantastic job, keep it up. Yes. And up, down, down, up, up, reach. Good. Half done. Woo. That left arm is going to be getting tired, and that right shoulder is going to start to feel a little bit tired as well. Nice. Last 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three two, and right into the other side. Find your left arm, wrap it around the body, right hand reach into the floor, 40 seconds, here we go. Down, up, reach, around, down, up, reach, around. Nice, that's it. Now get that left arm even straighter. Woo, there we go. Amazing. Good. Half done. That right tricep is really firing on this side. After this, we have our second set. Last 10. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Give the wrist a roll. We have 20 seconds rest, and we're going to use that time to make our way back over onto our first side for our second set. So go ahead and root the left hand into the mat. Wrap your right arm around the body. 40 seconds. Here we go. Down, up, reach, around, down, up, reach, and across the body. Keep it up. Let's see who we've got working with us today. Good. 
And as you keep reaching, see if you can get that bottom arm even straighter in line with the ear, working into the shoulder, what we explored at the beginning of our practice. Nice. Last 15 seconds. There we go. All right. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and make our way right on over to the other side. Take the left arm around the body. Root the right hand into the mat. 40 seconds. Here we go. Down. Up. Reach. Around. Down. Up. Reach. Around. Yes. Amazing. Woo. We are half done. Good. Try not to let that left shoulder touch the floor. Right tricep should be burning. That's what we want. Give me 10. And 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Move the arms around. Stretch everything out. Now, we're getting funky with our next exercise. A lot of balance. You have one of two options. Grab your towel or your strap, your shoelace, rope, whatever you've got. Now, in the name of balance, I would encourage everyone to try a standing bicep curl. So I use the weight of my arm to pull up, resist, down, driving the heel away from the body the whole time. If that kind of balance just isn't working for you today, you can always take your rope, create tension, and just use that tension to add a little bit of extra work to go up and down. But in the name of growing stronger and trying new things, let's give that standing bicep curl a shot, okay? Adding the balance. So loop whatever you've got around your right foot, come onto the right heel, and get that right foot off the floor. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Driving the heel away from you, curl up. Resist down, curl up, resist down. If you need to bend the knee, that's fine too. Okay, either way, up, press down, resisting. Oh my goodness, I'm driving my foot down so much. It makes it really challenging and that's what I wanna see. Up and down, last 10, pull up. And down, we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, there we go. Next set. Now, same option applies. You can do it with a bent knee or you can do it with a straight leg. Doesn't matter, play with it, see which one feels best. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Resist up, <laughs> resist back down. Yes. Whew. Making this really hard on myself. I hope you are too. And I'm noticing that my elbows are kind of moving around a little bit. So everyone make sure to keep your elbows glued into the midline of the body. The elbows don't move. Contracting the biceps to get that movement. Had to call myself out on that one. Yes. Good, last 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, we have two more exercises and then we're going to swap out our bands. We are not doing any cardio today because we're doing plenty of work just controlling all the muscles in our body as they work together. Tomorrow we'll have a more cardio intensive day. Forearm plank, walk up. I make my way down onto my forearm. I like to clasp my hands. It makes my base feel sturdier and stronger. I come back into forearm plank. I walk up as high as I possibly can, and I walk back down into plank. Walk it up, and walk it back down. 40 seconds in four, three, two, here we go. 
Good. Adding weight to your shoulders or triceps, the muscles of the upper body, by walking the feet up as high as you can. Keep rolling. Whoo. See if you can get those shoulders stacked over the elbows as you walk all the way up and move through it back down. Amazing. Last 10. Yes. Keep those legs nice and straight to add a little bit more weight. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Awesome. On our next set, if you want to try something a little extra, you can walk, walk, walk up, kick, walk down. Walk, walk, walk up, kick the other leg, walk down. Just if you're feeling wild, why not? Try something new. 40 seconds. Make your way into forearm plank. We're going in three, two, one. Walk it up. Option to add that kick. Walk it back out. Walk back up. Option to kick with the other leg. Walk back out. Just if you feel like having some fun with it, playing, because why not? Exercise doesn't have to be so serious. You can make it a little fun. Half done. After this, we're going to take a quick sip of water, and then we're going to move right into our final exercise for the upper body. Mm -hmm. Last 10. See if you can do two more reps. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Water all around. Toast the out. All right. Last upper body exercise is plank side to side hip dip. So working into the range of motion of our hips while we keep both hands rooted into the floor. I step my feet back into plank. I take a little space between my feet. I rock over onto one side, dip, press back up over to the other side, dip, back up through center. My hands stay rooted and I'm rocking my hips side to side. All right, everybody make your way into plank. 40 seconds in four, three, two, let's go. Rock it down and up. Other side and lift. Yes. Making a big arc shape with our body as we roll through the movement. Great. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Awesome. Last 10 seconds. Then we're going to take a rest, give our wrist a roll and jam on our second set and then swap out our bands. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop your knees, press your butt back to your heels. Give those wrists a roll one way, the other way. Move around. And let's make our way down for our final upper body work. Walk back into plank. 40 seconds in three, two, one, rock over, and side to side. Woo. Get those hips low, using the muscles of the oblique to help pull you back up through center. Fantastic. Yes. Half done. And George, you'll have to let us know what your picture of the day is. I like these, this new background trend. It's really great. Last 10. See if you can do four more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody make your way up to stand. Clasp the hands. Lengthen the arms out. Pull the backs of the shoulders together. Get that chest stretch, lifting your arms as high off the back of the body as you can. Nice. A little higher, a little higher. And then opposite direction, clasp the hands, press the base of the palms forward, getting into the back of the shoulders. And go ahead and release the hands. Let's 
swap out armbands for leg bands. Our question of the day. So earlier this week, we the question was, what are you doing when you feel your best? Today, the question is, who are you with when you feel like your best self? And maybe the answer is you're alone. Nothing's a bad answer. Who are you with or surrounded by when you're your best self? And I think I can guess what Steve's going to say, but I'm going to let him answer for himself. <laughs> All right. Swapping out those bands, drinking a lot of water, hot temper. Temperatures, at least in California. No answers, really. <laughs> he says, listening to the wife and children talking. I knew it was going to be a family thing. <laughs> my answer, when I'm my best self, I am either with my family. We are all very eclectic and similar. Or when I'm with my boyfriend, because he's a very mellow guy. And he kind of balances out my eclecticness. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? No one? No answers? All right, fine. I'll take it. George, I'm curious what your backdrop is when you get a chance. Let's get going. We have some good lower body stuff. I'm always, I'm always really excited about the lower body exercise. All right. So coming on up to stand, we're going to work into the calves in a slightly different way. So a lot of times we work with our feet parallel. Today we're gonna to work into our calves with our feet slightly externally rotated, but in a narrow V. So I want you to lift your heels up and off the floor and start to work side to side. So my heels don't touch the floor. I'm just opening up my hips while working into the calves, okay? So finding as wide of a V as makes sense for you we're going to get going in about 10 seconds. So everyone come on up to stand. Hike those bands up. We're going in four, three, two, 40 seconds. Side to side. Shifting that weight, but keeping the heels lifted the whole time. And my suggestion to you to make it harder is make the movement smaller and smaller. Yes. Now, even more of a challenge. Arms up. Balance and body control is the name of the day. <laughs> the calf cha-cha. That's what this is called. It's official. Yes. Heels up even higher. See if you can rotate them out a little bit more. Last 10. Nice. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now, this time, let's see if we can do both heels at the same time. Down and up. Down and up. So, option to take arms down, arms forward, or arms up. 40 seconds. Here we go. Woo, angle those toes out even more. Getting into different parts of our calf muscles. Good. Yes, and if you're needing even more of a challenge today because it's just that kind of day for you, bend your knees. Same thing with bent knees. Woo-wee, half done. Yeah. There we go. Last 10. Keep those heels up, whatever variation you're in. Give me seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. So we're going to use our strap, our towel, our item one more time in our workout. And similar to what we did with our biceps, this time we're going to work the leg. So we've never done this before. It's different. It's new. It's hard. Do your best. So I grab my item. And I drop it down in front of me. I hold it, right? So I'm creating a rope. 
I shift my weight into my left foot. I work my right leg up and over, back around and through. And the higher you hold this, woo, the harder it is. Now, as I hold my rope up really high, what I start to do is this. No, straight back the whole time. Up and over, back around and through. So if you need to hold it here, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Pick your height and let's work into it. Shift the weight into the left foot. 40 seconds, right foot is working. Here we go. Up, over, back around, hover. Up, over, back around, hover. Keep going. Let's see how we're doing. If you don't have an item, that's fine. Pretend you do. Yes. And you can continue to challenge yourself by lifting that rope, whatever that is, higher and higher, but keeping your back flat the whole time. Woo! Last 10. We'll call this clear the line. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, right into the other side. Same height or a little bit lower, a little bit higher, play with it. Shift your weight into your right foot. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go, bring it up, over, around, and through. And this is one of those ones where I'm moving kind of fast. Feel free to move slowly. Even if you only do, say, six reps the entire time, but you're really working to get that leg up, working your rope higher and higher, that's the important thing here. How many you do does not matter. Yes. Half done. <laughs> Woo, amazing. Bonnie, it looks great. Sophie and Sydney, I love it. We've got towels, it looks brilliant. Last 10. All right, Jim, give me five, four, three, two, and one. Great. We're gonna do that one more time. Anytime we do a new exercise, I get really excited and we're gonna work through it. All right, shift the weight into the left foot. Find that line. No. Tie mine up a little bit, get some of the slack out of the way. All right, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, straight spine. Work it up, over, around, and back. And maybe even make it tighter. Work so slowly, it's really hard. Kind of like the opposite of limbo, like when you're a kid, you're trying to get under the line. <laughs> The exact opposite of that. Keep your spine straight and get your leg over. Yes, I almost failed there, half done. Great, let's see if we can slow it down, lift that line even higher. We have our other side in 10, and then we'll move on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Weight into the right foot. Last set, 40 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Up and over. Ooh, that's it. Let me get my cycle going again. Amazing job. Nice. And this stuff is so weird. And then suddenly one day you find out like, hey, I can get my leg a little bit higher. And that's the goal, last 10 seconds. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Get that item out of here. It served us well, let's move on. Next up, we have lateral lunge. To leg lift. This is one of those ones where I want you to try not to use your hands, but if you have to, better do something than nothing, okay? So I step my foot out to the left. 
I drop into that lunge, set my butt down, take my right leg around and back, press right back up. I go over to the other side, set my butt down, bring my left leg forward and back. Woo! Press myself back up. If you have to use your hands, use your hands. Even if you do four of these the entire time, that's fine, okay? So let's start working into the left leg. 40 seconds, here we go. My legs are tired. Been playing around with this stuff a lot lately. All the way down, get your butt to the floor. Bring that leg center, back to the side. Press yourself up, other side. Drop into it, center. Side and press yourself back up. <laughs> it's not always pretty, but it definitely builds us more range of motion and it makes us stronger. Half done. Ooh. Bryce, Utah is George's background. I like it. I think it's a question mark. <laughs> a lot of adventures have been had. Last seven, six, five, four, three two, and one. All right, so if you're really not feeling throwing the leg around, which I totally get, try and just work side to side, deeper and deeper into that lateral lunge as low as you can go with no hands. Second set, three, two, one. Either playing with that leg stuff or just dropping down into it, your choice. Awesome. Good. And whichever variation you're doing, make sure that you're keeping your heels rooted into the floor the whole time you're doing this. Yeah, let's get even lower. If you can get those arms out in front of you, do it. Make this so that the legs do the work and there's no momentum involved. Yes, last 15 seconds. A little lower, a little lower. Woo. Nice, Jim. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody up to stand, hands to hips, move them around. And other way. All right, next up, we have our squat knee drops. And there are two variations of this exercise. I'll show the full variation first. And then you can choose how much you want to work into it. So I step my feet wider than hips distance, angle the toes slightly out into that V shape. Arms are forward the whole time. I make fists, so my arms aren't swinging around. My body's not compensating. My legs are really doing the work. I drop down into a squat, keeping my toes and my heels rooted into the floor. I drop, drop, rise up. Okay, I come down. I drop, drop, rise up. If that drop absolutely isn't happening for you today, and I encourage you to try it, just drop into that squat low and rise back up, okay? 40 seconds, three, two, one. Arms out, keep them straight and strong the whole time, keeping the big toe rooted into the floor. Drop, drop, rise on up. That's the move. Otherwise, just working lower and lower into that squat. Good. Arms out, arms out, straight and strong. Yes. Nice. Good. Oh, these look so great. And if you're dropping your knees down, remember, don't let the big toe lift off the floor. Yes. Last 10 seconds. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, couple butt kicks, 20 seconds, and we're jumping right into our second round. All right, after this, we'll take a sip of water. Step the feet wider than hips distance, toes angled out, arms strong, like we're ready to fly. 40 seconds, here we go. Down, drop, drop, heels don't lift, and rest. 
And what wants out, what the body wants to do is like relax the arm, like let something else get involved so the legs don't have to do the work. That's why we don't let the arms do it. We say, uh-uh, only the legs. Last 15 seconds. Yeah. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody up, grab water. Nice job. We have three more exercises for the lower body, and then we'll do our core. It's a different kind of tired than the stuff we did yesterday and Monday. So this next up is the pendulum. I shift my weight into my right foot. I drop my left knee back into a lunge. I kick it forward, drop into whatever variation of squat. Back into lunge, kick it forward, single leg squat. Now, I'm not going all the way down. You don't have to go all the way down. Just give me whatever you got. Even if that's this to that, great. Spine is straight the whole time. None of this, none of this, okay? Lunge to squat. Shift the weight to the right foot. 40 seconds in three, two, one. So squat, kick it back lunge, kick it up, squat, keep rolling. I think this is one of the hardest things we're doing today. I move fast. See if you can drop even lower into each variation, the lunge and the single leg squat. Last 15 seconds. Ooh, we, if nothing else made the legs tired, this is definitely going to do it. Seven, six, Five, four, nice Bonnie. Three, two, and one. Amazing. All right, let's switch it up. Shift the weight into the left foot. Pull that right leg back. You can do whatever you want with your hands. 40 seconds. Here we go. We lunge and squat and lunge. And squat. Woo, that's it. We have one more set of this after this, on our second set. 15 seconds. Even if you only take one more round, but you drop even lower into it, that is perfect. Give me six, five, four, three. Two and one. Take it out. Everyone who I can see with their video on is trying it. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. We we'll get the wobbles here and there, but that's what makes it real. It's still hard. All right. Last set. Shift your way into your right foot. Left foot off the floor. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Now maybe we get really low. One. And squat. Woo! <laughs> and my legs are tired from yesterday, and I bet everyone else is hard too. So go more for controlling the body here. Just keep that foot off the floor. Yes, 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 yes. Half done. Awesome, George. Sophia and Cindy look so good. Jim, amazing. Yes, we're doing so well. I'm gonna think about it. Last eight, seven. We're going right into the other side. In four, three, two, and switch. Shift that weight into the left leg. Four, three, two. Last round. Lunge and squat. Wonderful. Not going to call it any names because I don't want to distract anyone. 
keep doing what you're doing. Half done. And making sure your core is helping you through all of this. Last 10 seconds. One more round. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody come into a quick hamstring stretch. Pedal out the legs. All right, next up, we get to come down onto our hands and knees. We are doing a two-part move. So, I extend my left leg back and my right arm forward. I drop my limbs, keeping them completely straight, down, up. I pull them in, out, down, up. Knee to elbow, lengthen, okay? One side at a time. Lift your right arm, your left leg. We're going in four, three, two, down, up, in, out, down, up, in, out. Keep going, same side. Yes. Good. And as you lift that leg down and up, keep it so straight. Squeeze your hamstring, squeeze your glute, and maybe even work slower, creating resistance in the body. Now make sure that arm is straight as well, working into the shoulder joint, because we might as well get some good exercise in there as well. Last 10, then we're going right into the other side in seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Extend the right leg back behind you. Left arm forward, 40 seconds. Here we go. Down, up, in, out, down, up, in, and out. Keep moving through it. Core is engaged the whole time to protect the low back. See if you can slow it down. All right, half done. <laughs> Looking down at the mat, so the back of the neck is long and not crunched. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Rock the hips side to side. If you had a tail, give it a wag. And let's complete this exercise. Extend the right arm forward, left leg back behind you. 40 seconds, time is going. Down, up, in, out. Down, up, in, and out. And I look at the screen so I can watch you guys. But feel free to look down the whole time. You already know the move, so just keep working it. Yeah, 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 yeah. After the second side, we'll take some water and we'll come up to stand for our last movement of the day. Last 15 seconds. Mm hmm. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch limbs. Left arm forward, right leg back. Final set in four, three, two, down, up, in, out, down, up, in, and out. Keep working. And I always kind of have to make exercises into like a, almost like a song or repeat the actions out loud. Otherwise I forget what to do. So I do that for you guys as well. You can either repeat them or just laugh at me. Either is great. Great job, Instagram. Nice job, Zoom. Half done. 
Keep that leg really straight as you drop it down and lift it. Work the hamstring, the glute. Last 10. Ooh, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone tuck your toes under. Press your hips up and back. Pedal out the legs. And then walk, walk, walk the hands back to meet the feet and roll on up to stand. We have a standing fire hydrant. I pick my right foot up and off the floor. I pull my heel into my butt. I work out and center. Side view, out and center. And as I'm doing this, the rest of my body does not move at all. That's where the work lies in not doing this. So just working into that outer hip, up and down. 40 seconds in three. Two, one, go for it. Up and center. And up, squeeze. And center. Yeah. Good. Half done. No other part of the body is moving. Also contracting to that right side waist. Let's get some core in there as well. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Pull the left heel into your butt, 40 seconds. Out, center, up, and back. Yep, keep going. Nice. Good. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. Good job, Instagram, as well. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last set, last side. And the good news is, We've been working our core all day long. So this is our core. So as you do this last set, think about your leg. Also think about your core. So my goodness, that midsection has been getting worked. So this is our last round of exercise for the day. Shift your weight into your left foot. Pull the right heel in towards your butt. Stabilize the body. If you want extra, arms up, arms out. Play with it. 40 seconds. Here we go. Up. And down. Standing fire hydrant. Try and get your knee as high as your hip. Ooh, it's not easy. We use it like heck. Yeah. Half done. That left leg is getting some work too, just standing there. 15 more seconds, use your core. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Other side, heel into butt. Whatever you want to do with your arms is magnificent. Ready, last set, let's bring it home. Up and center. Woo, there we go. Keeping that right shoulder stacked over the right hip the whole time. Contracting through this side of the body. Keep it going. <laughs> Half done. Yes, and you Sophia looks great. Got those arms up. Strong, powerful. Last 15 seconds. Final exercise of the day. Contract through that whole side of the body. Crunch, curl, squeeze. Give me Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Drop the legs. Rock over to one side. Get a big stretch across the hip. And there's someone on Instagram who's uh, sent a message into the chat saying they can't get into Zoom. Feel free to DM us and we'll send you that link. 
and rock over to the other side. And come back through center, keeping that back flat, reach the arms back behind you, hinge forward, five, four, ooh, nice big hamstring stretch. I'm still feeling it from yesterday. Three, two, and on this next one, go ahead and let everything hang. Shake your head, yes, uh-huh, we did it. As you roll up to stand, nice and slowly, stop one vertebrae at a time, reach your arms up, bring those palms together, give yourself a round of applause at the top. Good job, everybody. Tomorrow, we will be getting our cardio going again, and then Friday, we'll have flexibility and mobility time. Thank you. Thank you. Go Gator. Oh,